Hey there, I'm Vaughn Bullard. Today, I'm going to talk to you about uploading files larger than two megabytes. Now, why on earth would I want to upload files larger than two megabytes? Well, you may want to upload high bandwidth media such as large zip files, images, and videos for use on your WordPress installation. There are plenty of reasons why one would want to do this. Now, we're going to edit two files in WordPress and on your server. Don't worry, there's no coding on this one. It is as simple as editing some text files. You're going to have a default upload size for WordPress of two megabytes. That comes just default that way. So the first file we're going to have to edit is called the php.ini file. This will be in your server root directory. Why? Because of the way those folks over at Automatic, the publisher of WordPress, designed it. This is a simple task. We're going to modify a few lines of parameters. Now, parameters are settings that tell the server, hey, dude, here's your maximum memory size for running WordPress. Now run with it. Obviously, changing parameters can either increase or decrease your performance. So it's important to monitor how your WordPress installation runs. Tip, this is called tuning. So go into your text editor, and if you don't have one already on your server, create a plain text file called phpini here. Our memory limit to, let's say, 10 megabytes, as well as upload max file size and post max size. We're also going to tell our server to allow file uploads by telling it on here. So what we're going to do when we're done here is to save this file. Now, this may be dependent upon whether you're saving it to a remote server or a local file. A few things here. If you are running WordPress on a hosted platform, you may or may not have access to the PHP i9 file. If so, check with your hosting providers to get these settings modified. However, if you have access to it, it will also be dependent upon the operating system that your WordPress installation is running on. In my example, I'm going to save it to my slash etsy slash httpd directory. Tip, not sure where your php.ini file is? Check out phpnet at http colon forward slash forward slash php.net slash manual slash ian slash configuration dot file dot php. Because these are initialization parameters, you may have to restart your server. And depending upon your configuration, in order for those parameters to take effect. That's how easy it is, folks. I'm Vaughn Bullard, and again, this is how to upload files larger than two megabytes to your WordPress installation.